Hello everybody. Welcome back to another Elden Ring video and you might notice we're in this dungeon that we cleared out a few episodes ago and we're by the sorcerer over here. And the first thing you're gonna want to do before we go on our journey is talk to the sorcerer and you will there will be an option to give her scrolls. Give her those scrolls and then you'll unlock some more stuff for your character to use. So that might help you with some extra spells. But alright, without further ado, let's get into the video. So you have can come over here to the way you can see that with Sorceress Selen. You'll go back over here to the Ray Lucaria schoolhouse classroom. Oh. So, the first thing we, we're gonna do, crouch up, and go behind this guy. And you wanna try and take him out without losing any health or using any potions or anything like that. So you'll see, we just took him out there. And unluckily, we got the magic guys to start attacking us. You've gotta be kidding me. But anyways, ow. You'll come around here and try to sneak your way up these paths, run past everyone, and come up these stairs behind you on your right, after going up those ones, and you'll be met with a big fall wall, a big fog wall. This is the Red Wolf of Radagon, and you'll see, we go in here, it's a big wolf. Yeah. This guy's a little annoying, because you can clearly see he's a little agile. Not only that, he uses a lot of magic. And he attacks fast. A little annoying. And he not only does that, he has ranged attacks like the you might have saw a first little glenstone attack he had used. So we don't have too many options here. But the first thing you might want to do, if you've been exploring around a bit, is check your inventory. And you'll see this item right here if you have one. The Ghost Glove Wart. Ah. You probably don't know what that does, but... Or, you may know exactly what that does. First, you'll want to get yourself some runes. So, let's see here. There we go. If you don't have any runes, go to that Blood Palace I had showed you guys. Go to the Blood Palace Ledge Approach. And... All these little guys here, they're a little annoying to kill, but you can kill them pretty easily. So, you just kind of cast your wrestling at them. Go for the gray ones, because the red ones do a lot of damage and they have a lot more health. So, Alright, now you can see, we have nearly 4,000 runes, or if you already had those runes, you'll go to the Table of Lost Grace. And the lady that we talked to who gave us the jellyfishes here. You'll want to talk to her a little bit. She says, Mason, she has a lot of lines, but you talk to her and she just talks about how her people have been grafted and then you turn around you go over here and you talk to master hugan here once you've talked to him he'll tell you about how he thinks that she has a power and then you go back you talk to the lady over here she says she'll ask him to teach her and you have to go back and talk to him And you'll ask him about Rodrika. He says, the girl, what about her? And then you say, would you watch over Rodrika? He says, are you out of your mind? And he doesn't think anybody would want to stay with him. And then you have to tell him it's what she wants. And then he says he doesn't, he doesn't believe in you. He doesn't believe you anyways. So after that, you'll just fast travel back to the same area, reload it, and you'll notice that she's gone. You run back over. You'll see... Her right there, but you'll first want to talk back to Master Hugh again. 
and you'll you'll ask it. You'll talk to him. He tells you that he spoke with Rodrika and that he's sorry that he doubted you. You go back and talk to the lady now. And then she thanks you for having, for telling her. And so if you go to spirit tuning now, you can upgrade your spirit ashes. So you can see here, you can go to school of war, you'll use that. And well, you can level up like everything else if you've got enough money. Now, we have our things leveled up one, so they should be a little better. Now, the Red Wolf of Radagon is very resistant to magic damage, well, because he's magic. So you'll want to bring just a little melee weapon just in case. And I believe with some, t from ex some extensive testing I have done, he is immune to rot damage. I don't know about poison, but I do know he's a he does not take rot damage, which is kind of annoying, but... So, essentially, we will have to summon in one of our guys here, which I think, I know, just the guy for the job, probably Banished Knight Ingval. He whole jumped at him, and he's a little agile, so he should be able to take that ground now and then. So, walk in, traverse the mist, summon him in. Well, let's test some other things, maybe. Maybe the marionette ashes will be better. Now then, try the marionette soldiers. You want to try and find someone that will take the aggression off of you easily, but not die in two seconds. So. Gravity magic does work pretty well on him. So, I recommend using Rock Sling because he is not resistant to gravity magic. You can see, use your marionette ashes, and then use yourself some rock sling and you should be able to kill them pretty easily like we just did there pick up any runes you may have dropped and head over to the site of grace nearby now then after you have done that you might look upwards and you'll notice there's a little stairwell above us well, there's actually a way to get there, but we can't get there from here. So, obviously come out, see your summoning pool, so you're going to have people help you. And you're going to have to run over here to your left. And you'll jump up this little destroyed area. You need to get past these little mages here. And jump off this little edge. 
there's that one guy behind you which you want to try and run past and here we go gold rune now you'll after you follow that little path here you'll jump on these rooftops there's a few guys over here then jump up here to this ladder and come around grab yourself a free gold rune four turn back climb this well then from here on you don't want to fight anything you want to just run past it all because everything here is a little tricky to kill so make sure you've topped your HP off and you'll miss this bridge Half of it, you'll pick up the, that crystal dart. And then you'll head right around this little corner and you will jump off of this rooftop. You'll drop down right again and make these few jumps. Or down. Or, or, or don't make the jump, that, that works too. As I was saying, let's go back. So we follow this path maybe a little easier. Come out this gate, turn left, go right, run up this little ramp thing here, and then now jump hop. You'll see the sorcerers trying to get you. Get your staff back out. So, drop something. There we go. Now then, of course, our HP off. Hopefully, actually be able to make those jumps. Now, follow the same path. Now jump right down here. Go right again. And make the jump this time, hopefully, if you fail. From now on, we don't have to make hard jumps, so. So, now, you've done that. Now, that building over there, that's where we gotta go. So, you'll wanna try and drop down this path. You'll notice this little crystal crab. You'll get yourself the free Liz Glint Stone Crown. Now drop here, drop down, grab yourself the free somber smithing stone four, head out this building. Now, you'll see that little crab over there? That's where we need to go, so you'll climb back up. Climb up this ladder, jump across. Now you'll jump in here on these little rafters and you'll jump down on this chandelier. You'll get yourself another Academy Glenstone key. Now as soon as you drop down here, there is going to be a few enemies. You can see one right there. Take cover behind these poles and shoot them. 
now after you've killed them. There will be another one over here. You'll want to head across here, look around for this little body right here, grab yourself the free shattering crystal spell, head right, and go around this building. Here's another crab. Kill him, get yourself a twin sage glunstone crown. Head back inside, and then go to your right over here, and you'll notice some person sitting at the end of this hallway. This is an enemy, of course, so we'll kill him. It's one of the page. Then you'll head to the end of the room. Grab yourself the Azure's Glenstone Staff, and now we'll look at our inventory here. If you read, this increases your intelligence. This increases your, greatly increases your intelligence. So you'll see this increases it by three extra. So we'll go with the Twin Sage. And this one also increases our intelligence, our it increases intelligence and dexterity, but we're mostly focusing on the Twin Sage one because this gives us more, uh, and, and I can't talk today. It gives us more intelligence, which is helpful. Now then, after you've got all that, you can fast travel back to, where is it? The debate parlor. There it is. Now, let's go over our staff. And, nope, I'm not seeing anything better than our current staff, so let's keep using the meteorite staff. Our now then, let's recap what we've done this video. We killed the crown. We got the Twin Sage Glenstone Crown and the Lazuli Glenstone Crown. We went onto the rooftops and we got the Azure's Gloomstone staff. Now, what else did we do? We got the Academy key. And for the Academy key, we can go use this at the church. Way over here at the lake facing cliff. That guy there, Thops, he can take this Glenstone key and we can end his quest. Which ends quite badly, actually, the quest. Come here, come back to him. He's right here. You give him the glowstone key. He's happy. And you start dialogue if you go back and talk to him, but we don't need to. You'll go back to the schoolhouse classroom. And you'll come out this gate here. Go to your right. Fop Spellberry Academy Glowstone Staff. And then you can zoom out. And let's see. Can we find it? Yeah, right here. Okay. Larry and Elixir. Um, there's a side of Grace Glowstone, but we haven't been to this yet. So now you'll follow this little path here to which you'll get ambushed by a few guys, but that's okay. We're gonna ignore them for now. Now, you do wanna make sure something though. So, you can switch out one of these. So, I'm gonna switch out point forward. You need to equip the new emote, which is your addition. And once you've done that, thing to the left along this path and follow this wall. You'll notice a few things over here.
Now the first thing we can do while we're over here is jump up right into this fort with the fire monks and a few of them should be leaving by the time you get here. Grab yourself the fire spermie and the fire monks prayer book. Jump back over here and you'll head through this big little tunnel. Big tunnel over here. Grab yourself some poison blooms while you're over here. Try to avoid the crabs. Over here and keep hugging the wall around. And you'll notice this little tower up here. Now we'll head up the path and go over to this tower. Now, the reason you equip that amount, there's two cool things you might notice. You'll come in here into the converted tower, but the first thing you'll probably notice is we can't get up to the top. Now, you'll come right here, right in front of the statue, and you'll use the emote. You'll do. You'll put your hands on your head for a second. And first off, you'll notice the glintstone starts glowing. And then a magic ladder appears after a few seconds. Grab yourself some of the one stone right there, and you can head up here. You'll be needed with these staircases at the top, and you can head up, and grab yourself a free memory stone. of course be able to level up let's see I think I'm gonna level up intelligence now that all right we'll go to memorize spell see we got two new spell slots and see increase small now I think we'll get the star shower. Well, first, we'll want to get gravity well. I'll put on star shower. So, of course, I showed you what gravity well did in the last video. Just does that little thing right there. Pulls enemies towards you when you hit them with it. And see, on this little marionette here, hit them, boom, pulls them towards us. And as for star shower, six glintstone stars at an enemy, which can. It's a little, it's quick to cast, as you can see, and it shoots little six things, and sometimes it can stun an enemy, or it just is kind of cheap, mana-wise, so it does pretty good damage, too. So, alright, we're going to be ending the video here, but before I go, I want to make sure that you guys leave a like and subscribe, you hit the notification bell, leave a comment down below, say, you know, maybe something like, you want to know how to kill Renala, or you just want to ask me if a weapon's good. Alright guys, 